I recreated Wukong's W clone ability in Unity. It's more of the old version where it just spawns the clone and it doesn't really attack. If you've been following the 2023 MOBA series, this is kind of a continuation to it, where I recreate every League of Legends champion abilities, or at least try to. If you're lazy like me, you can obviously copy the code in the video, or you can buy it in my Patreon shop down in the description. Big thanks to all my Patreon supporters, and with that being said, let's dive right into the video. I'll go ahead and drag the Unity package, which you can buy in my Patreon shop. I'll then slap it onto a new MD project, and also make sure that you have Cinemachine installed. In the folder, it pretty much has the basic essential scripts, models, and animations from the MOBA series. If you have your own character and animations, all you need is the scripts. There are some changes I made to the stat script from the MOBA series. I just removed the variable called target health completely and replaced all the parts of the script that had target health to just health. I also commented this part out which handles the experience since we won't be needing it for this series. In the movement script, I forgot to mention this in the first episode, but I removed the HM script variable, which handles highlighting our enemies, but we won't need it for this video. Moving on to the Wukong W script, this focuses on our character to turn invisible, spawn a clone, and push forward, simulating the Wukong's decoy ability. It integrates the UI elements to provide visual feedback on the ability's cooldown and mana cost. In Awake, we initialize the script by caching references to the mana system component, fetching all renderers for later material changes. I've also set up the UI to its default state. This preparation ensures the ability is ready to use when the game starts. The update method listens for the player's input for each frame. If the ability key is pressed, while it not being on cooldown and having enough mana, it activates the ability. It also continuously updates the cooldown timer and the UI elements. Cache Renderer collects all render components in the child game objects. This is crucial for efficiently changing materials to simulate invisibility. The handle input checks if the player has pressed the ability key. If all conditions are met, the ability is activated. Activate ability manages the ability's activation, deducting mana, starting the cooldown, and turning the player invisible for a set duration. It will also spawn a clone and push the player forward. The push player forward method simulates the dash or leap by moving the player a short distance forward, enhancing the ability's effect. The become invisible is a coroutine that makes the player invisible for a specified duration by changing the materials of all child renderers to a transparent material. Then, after an X amount of time, it will revert back to its original material. In set materials, changing the material of all child renderers to either make the player invisible or revert back to the original depends on the ability state. Spawn clone creates a duplicate at the player's position using a predefined prefab. This clone will serve as a decoy or fulfill other strategic purposes in the game. In start cooldown, it initiates a cooldown period for the ability, during which it cannot be reused. It also triggers an immediate UI update to reflect this change. The update cooldown decreases the cooldown timer each frame if the ability is on cooldown and updates the UI to show the remaining cooldown time. In update UI, this method updates the UI elements based on the ability's current state, such as changing the colors to indicate cooldown or mana availability and displaying the remaining cooldown time. Lastly, initialize UI. This sets the initial state of the UI elements, ensuring they display correctly when the game starts. This includes setting the color of the cooldown indicators and clearing the cooldown text. Onto the other script, what this does is destroy the clone game object based on an X amount of seconds. And that is pretty much all we need for the scripts. Back in our game scene, you'll see I have a duplicated prefab of our main character that only has the script destroy, since this will be the clone that we spawn. This part is where we replace the materials, since the mesh render for the clothes and armor are children of the player game object. These are the two materials for the character. One is from the main asset, and the other one is a transparent material I made. This is what my player script looks like in the inspector. For the dark screen overlay, I just have a darkened image and set the opacity to low. This gives it that extra effect on your screen to make it look like the player is invisible. That is pretty much all for this video. If you guys have any suggestions on what champion ability you want me to recreate, whether being in League of Legends or any other game, comment it down below. If you want to get the project files and Unity package through this project, you can go buy and download it in my Patreon shop. Also, feel free to support me through pledging. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.